Hi, Dr. Watson here with a finale tutorial video. This video is on the topic of composite time signatures. Here's a piece I've written, um, and I chose to put it in 7-8. It's called Balkan 7. And you can see that this 7-8 in particular has groupings of 3 eighth notes, then 2 eighth notes, then 2 eighth notes. 3, 2, 2. And that is pretty much the way the piece is, although there's a few variations. I chose to just put it in 7-8, but you notice even here in the uh, time expression, the tempo expression, it says 3 plus 2 plus 2. Some composers might have chosen to notate that time signature like this, 3 plus 2 plus 2, 8, uh, 3 plus 2 plus 2 in the numerator, and 8 in the denominator of the time signature. So how would you do that in finale? Well, let's just start with how you get the 7-8 to begin with. So I'm going to go to the time signature tool, and down here where I have music just in 4-4, we're going to change that to 7-8 the way I think most people who've used Finale would do it. They would uh, make it a 7-8 like that. But you'll notice that these eighth notes are different. This top area of the time signature tool is generally going to give you the beaming. And since we wanted to be beamed 3 plus 2 plus 2, this isn't exactly where we're going to end. But just to get us started, I'm going to show it to you that way. And then let me go ahead and play um, use, using the hyperscribe tool. I'm going to record a little bit of the Balkan 7. 7 8 melody. Here we go. All right, and just like I said, the uh, beaming has three eighth notes instead of um, three eighth notes separate instead of beamed. Um, I had a rhythm error here. Let me just fix that uh, real quick. Quick here. Okay, so. Um, it's this melody, uh, and I'm going to put it all in one, one system. It's this melody that I want to renotate so it looks like this one up here. And um, we go back into the time signature tool to do that. And I'm going to open up where it says composite. And this time I'm going to say in beat groups, I'm going to say three plus, you have to actually type plus, two plus, and then at the bottom I'm going to say eight. Now, I'll tell you about these other boxes in a second, but let me just show you what had happened to the, uh, did I get the other two in there? There we go. Three plus two plus two and then eight. So what's happened to the beaming is we actually have three plus two plus two in beam groups. And the time signature now is that composite time signature. I'll say okay and okay. Now, I didn't want, I wanted that beam grouping when I wrote Balkan 7, but I did not want that, um, uh, composite time signature. So what I did was I did another trick, uh, wrong tool, uh, time signature tool. I did another t trick where I just didn't settle for what's up here, but I clicked on more options and it gives us a lower level. level. And here you can say use a different time signature for display. And so I turned off the composite. Um, I cleared the composite down here. Okay, clear. And then down here I said 7, 8, what, like I had originally. Now, it doesn't matter that it doesn't show the beaming down here because remember, the beaming is what you have in the top part of the time signature tool. What you have down here is just the time signature itself, what it will show. And so now I'm going to show 7, 8, but beam it like it's 3 plus 2 plus 2, 8, and say OK. And you'll see down here, now I do have it as 7, 8. So that's just a little bit about how time signatures um, how composite time signatures work with Finale. You could choose to have it 3 plus 2 plus 2, 8, or you could choose to have it uh, 7, 8, but, but you still might want to know about that composite um, aspect of the time signature tool because of the beaming that you desire. Okay, I, I want to go back um, just to briefly um, explain that one little thing that I, I breezed through. In the time signature tool, I said I would explain you know, what some of these other boxes. So for instance, if I said 3 here, and two here and two here and then eight and all of those right then you could have the time signature appear as three eight plus two eight plus two eight that's sometimes done um, especially in mid-century contemporary music i've seen that so that is an option that you have as well okay hope this uh, tutorial on composite time signatures in finale has been helpful good luck with your finale typesetting